Hello folks, welcome to Lester's. Matthew K. in Arizona. Finally getting around to working on your DX939, my friend. I'm sorry it has taken me so long to get to it. But anyway, everything seems to be working fine. So I'm going to get to making the changes. More to come. All right, Matt, let me show you what I've got done here so far. I replaced the 1,000 microfarad capacitors for your DC input buffer filters, now 3,300 gold. Did the same thing with the voltage regulator buffer filter. It's now 3,300 gold. I replaced the first RF amplifier with the 2SC2999. Okay, I've installed your CP1. I like to install these on the bottom of the board because of the way they're made. That's part of the high cut filter improvement. Okay, I still have got to install your upgraded, more narrow 10.7 IO filter. The filters I've got are. 20 kilohertz wide filters, the ones that come in the radio are 25 kilohertz. But I can't get the 15 kilohertz anymore, so all I've got is 20 kilohertz, the 20 kilohertz wide filter, and that's what I'm going to put back in here. And once I get that done, I'm going to do the tune up, and then I'm going to start doing the other things you wanted me to do, like change out the element in the meter from blue to white, the light in the meter. I've already disconnected the transformer for the the backlit on the panel because yeah, it's noisy, it squeals like all the rest of them, so I just went ahead and unplugged it like you wanted me to. Okay. Alright, more to come. Okay, got your 20 kilohertz wide filter installed. Now I'm going to do the tune-up and I'm going to start swapping out the uh, lights in the meter, the LEDs in the meter, or to come. Okay, Matt, I've got the front taken apart here. I'm changing out these blue LEDs to white LEDs. Okay, so it'll be white LEDs in the meter when you get it back. More to come. Okay, Matt, just wanted to show you I put all the dust covers back over the switches. Keeps dust from getting inside the mechanism of the switch through the opening in the front where the slide is. I've seen so many radios come in for repair that these things are missing on where the shop that they had it at before didn't take the time to put them back on. I forgot about them and there you go but I wanted to show you all the dust covers are back on the switches okay and I got all the scratch guards put back around the shafts behind the knobs what this does is keep the knobs from scratching up the face plate but they're all on there okay there's your white meter yeah, it is much easier to read than the blue, having the blue behind it. Okay. Alright. I'm getting ready now to do the max mod, and then I'm going to put your uh, echo in. And while I'm on the subject of the echo, you asked me if I could put two controls in the back back there. There's really no way to do that, mainly because of that SWR board, okay? I can put one right next to it, but then you've got the, uh, the serial number plate, the identification plate on the back of it back here, but it's right over the final transistors, so... There's actually only room to put the one dual pot, so that's what I'm going to do. 
Sorry about that. No way to do the duels. Okay, more to come. Okay, Matt. Got your Max Mod installed. I see it right there. Trying to get these wires out of the way so you could actually see what was written on the front of the transistor. There it is right there, Max Mod. Okay. There's your control for your echo board. On the echo board, I gave you the TRBX4. This is the replacement for the TRBX3. Okay. I remember what you told me about how you wanted it to sound, so that's what I did. All right. Got everything all sewn down. I need to add another wire tie right there, it looks like. But it's all dressed up. And give me a second. No, well, let's see. Should be able to let you hear it right here. Hang on. Right there, so you can hear the radio. Now, you may hear some buzzing in it, and that's my LED lights. Yeah, I hear that, that business that's coming from these damn LED lights. Hey, hello. Hello, audio test. Test one, two, one, two, test. Now you may want to dial it back. Actually, I'll dial it back just a tiny bit for you. Hello, one, two, three, three, two, one. Audio testing, testing one, two. One, two, test, audio test. Okay. All right. There's the white lights in the LED. Got your TRBX3 installed, got the Max Mod installed, and got the control mounted in the back. Sorry I couldn't do the dual controls like you wanted to, but you can see that back board is pretty busy. What's on the other side of this blank space right here is the ID tag for the radio. So I didn't want to drill through it or take it off. Okay, all right, let me get the covers on it. We'll do a final video. Okay, Matthew, here you go, buddy. You're right about the receiver on these things. It is outstanding. Right now, I've got the switch connected to my external antenna. So my external antenna is picking up the signal coming from my signal generator which the output of the signal generator goes directly to my B&K 1040 test set. Okay. And I've got the antenna switch selecting the external antenna. Now I'm going to switch to internal, which is going to put it directly on the antenna connector of the radio. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. All right. Okay. Well, Matthew, I sure hope you enjoy your new old stock radio. And no, folks, I don't have any more of them. This was the last one that I could find. Galaxy DX939. If you want one like this, I suggest that you buy the DX959. It's basically the same radio, only with sideband. All right. Okay, Matthew, sure hope you enjoy your new old stock radio. It was my pleasure to set it up for you. 7-3, everybody. Stay safe. And if you don't mind, click the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. And I appreciate all the prayers, folks. If you have an order with me, it's coming. I'm working as hard as I can. 7-3, everybody.